A rights group under the aegis of the Coalition of Civil Society Organizations slash Labor Center has cautioned the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, and Trade Union Congress, TUC, to jettison their planned strike scheduled to commence nationwide on Wednesday, arguing that though things were tough, the possibility that the exercise might be hijacked by aggrieved Nigerians should be considered. The coalition gave the word of caution on Tuesday in its communique issued at the end of its town hall meeting in Lagos. Convener of the Campaign for Democracy in Governance, Razak Olokwaba, emphasized the benefits and economic gains of the petrol subsidy removal. On his part, the executive director of the group, Nelson Ekujimi, who read the communique at the end of the session, said the warning to both the NLC and TUC became imperative, adding that the removal of fuel subsidy was in the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians. As you plead for your patience and understanding over the economic pains, and, and inconvenience that we are all going through temporarily, we are of the strong belief that the slight at the end of the tunnel, as we will not fail or falter in our social responsibility of social watchdog to hold government at all levels accountable to their promises. This is a commitment we only make to you. To please ensure that they maintain law and order, they, they keep to the rules of engagement. We don't want a situation where tomorrow some persons will come and tell us it was hijacked. If you know you cannot conduct your rally and you cannot supervise, cannot guarantee that the participants will conduct themselves uh, freely and peacefully. I don't, I don't think it will be wise because the after effect of the NSAS protest, the destruction, it rots on our psyche as well as on, on lives and properties. We should keep to the rules of engagement. We should ensure that all those uh, street ushers do not hijack the protest. Yes, you have a right to, we all have rights. As you, are, as you are ventilating your position tomorrow, we also have a right as Nigerians, as stakeholders in the polity who risk so many things for us to have this democratic governance to also stage protests across the country tomorrow. So we are saying that we don't want confrontation.